Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching guiding and riding on fly fishing in the Eastern Sierra since 1982. Well, let's get to this week's fly fishing report. All right, a couple of pieces of news we need to talk about. First, Owens River Gorge is being closed through September 6 for flushing flows. This emulates snow runoff and it's really good for the river because it washes out the sediment, moves it around, and in particular creates holes for fish to um, feed on other fish. Big trout need to ambush little trout so that they can grow bigger. And then um, the other piece of news, hot weather. We're going to be in the hundreds all week, so in particular there's this thing called a hoot owl, which means you want to fish early in the morning and late in the day. Don't fish on the rivers once the waters reach 68 to 70 degrees, get off the water. The reason is the mortality rate on the catch and release fishing goes way up and we don't want to kill all those wild fish that we've been trying to take care of and protect. Okay, let's get to this week's fly fishing report. So, um, Upper Owens River, fishing great in the morning, first thing off, there's a trico hatch. And then it's followed by a little bit of a caddis hatch, which has been sporadic all afternoon. And then in the evening, mayflies and caddis again. So we're fishing a size 20 or 22 trico, and we're also fishing size 16 Adams parachutes up there, and size 18 elk hair caddis. All right, let's go over to Hot Creek. In the interpretive site, we're primarily fishing with tricos in the morning, followed by the blue wings, and then followed by caddis. And it's over by noon. And in the canyon section, the weed beds are at full maturity, which means as a fly fisherman, it's really tough to fish. And unless you're a real good professional fly fisherman, you're gonna find it pretty hard to fish in there. Mostly fish dry flies, because you can get somewhat of a drift. And sometimes all we're gonna get is a six inch drift, but that can produce fish. Trichos and caddis is primarily what I'm fishing in there. Okay, let's go down to the Lower Owens River. Because of the flushing flows, the river's up over 300 CFS right now. And that's too high for me to wait, so I'm not gonna fish it till after September 6th because that's when I can get back out and wait it and fish it properly. All right, Bishop Creek Canal, it's got a trico hatch coming off. If I get to the water by nine o'clock, it's too late. So I'm trying to get there between 7.30 to eight and find it. And the mayflies go through a thing where we have the dun and then the spinner, and then the spinners die on the water. We call that a spinner fall. So we're trying to catch the spinner fall because that's when the trout are keying in on that stage of the insect. And then after that, till about 11 or noon, till the water gets up to 70 degrees, I'm fishing in there with nymphs using the stoner nymph or a green gold wire prince nymph. Well, this has been Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I can be found on Facebook and Instagram or on my webpage at sierrabright.com and look for us on Skippable News on YouTube. 